Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick, shout out to our sponsor, fuck, absolutely no one, feel bad and give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about a movie that's been out for uh, as long as it's been out, who cares, probably about a year now, because it's hit the neat flicks, that's right, so we don't have to pay to see it uh, in the expensive Form. We just log into our mom's account and we're good to go. But of course, today we are talking about the one and only Morbius. So, Morbius, man, this is going to be one of the uh, Marvel characters and whatnot, uh, that uh, if we are mistaken, and we probably are, who cares, we're not going to research it because uh, we don't feel like it. Uh, he's one of the Sony characters, probably, that, uh, you know, Sony owns in addition to, like, Spider-Man, because uh, he's, uh, you know, just kind of in that, uh, that part of the universe and whatnot. But uh, I don't know who cares cares someone has the proprietary right somewhere or another and decided to shit out a movie called morbius that's right so uh man first and foremost the idea behind making a movie about morbius and everything like that we would say is definitely a great idea and something that should be done i guess uh, or is done obviously uh and it's not a bad thing that it was done however uh, man, in the case of this movie, Morbius, uh, man, there is a lot lacking going on. The flick, you know, if, to put it bluntly, is just sheer kind of boredom, man, from one scene to the next with a small injection of some, you know, pretty decent special effects and action and whatnot here and there and some cinematography kind of sequences that they kind of inject in the flick that would probably be okay once or twice but it's almost every single fight scene the little slowdown pause to see something going on uh man it just seems a little bit overdone from a cinematic kind of aspect and purpose uh but you know that's neither here nor there artistic freedom it's definitely a nice effect and it's cool the first couple times uh but it's like every time they're in their little floaty bat form and whatnot or their you know wavy line form whatever you want to call it uh you know the protagonist and uh you know the antagonist uh man it's just a little overdone in regards to that uh, there's a little bit of, you know, kind of injected stupidity with some things and whatnot, uh, you know, that flow throughout the movie, and it just, every single thing just brings it down, brings it down, brings it down. So whilst the idea of having a Morbius movie is great, uh, man, some of the special effects are good, some of the cinematography is good, uh, nothing against the soundtrack or anything like that. What holds it back is the lack of action, even though there is some in there, you know, it's just minuscule and just little minor bits and tidbits that you get fed, uh, you know, just periodically throughout the script. And then just a bunch of just boring, boring, uh, you know, aspects to it and such, uh, you know, that just is, is not necessary or detracts from what could be a great movie. Uh, but, you know, in starting to try and do like the origin story of Morbius and everything like that, uh, man, maybe they should have just uh, done, done a small little glimpse over on that and then focused on a, uh, you know, kind of better storyline and everything. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of one of those things. All in all, you know, it's an okay flick uh, if you like boring movies or uh, you want to waste some time or if Morbius is your favorite character in the Marvel Universe. Uh, man, there's going to be, uh, you know, at least some aspects that you can get behind and at least vouch for. Such as, uh, you know, the, the small sequences of cinematic perfection, uh, the, the small sequences of special effects that are actually pretty on point. Uh, but, you know, aside from those, man, the movie itself just is a long, dragged out, uh, you know, kind of boring uh, thing that, you know, you can sit through if you choose to or if you turn it off. You're really not missing much, man. Uh, so that's it. Uh, Morbius on Netflix. What can be said about this one? Uh, you get a uh, M for uh, Morbius isn't that good. So there you go. That's the review. Give us money. Uh, have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.